too much, <laughs> too soon. Ah, welcome to Christmas or the holiday season in the Scots house. The tree was up about a week before Thanksgiving um, and there are actually a total of three Christmas trees in this house as we speak with the potential of there being a fourth tree. It's not my idea, that's just how my wife rolls. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is the best way that I can think of that you can actually help us in our venture of growing this channel, of continuing to provide good content to the cycling community. Anyway, today I've got a doozy for you. Just about every self-respecting community has some sort of turkey ride, Thanksgiving day ride, harvest day ride, and South Florida is no exception. In fact, we have multiple rides. We have the turkey ride, we have the Thanksgiving day ride, we have the harvest ride, and we also have something called the turkey race. The turkey race, is a slugfest, not for the faint of heart. That takes place down in South Miami. Professional cyclists, former pros come from outside of the country and outside of the state to participate in this because a lot of money is on the line. And up here in Broward County in Weston, we have something called the Harvest Ride. The Harvest Ride leaves from the town center of Weston, rides to the city, of Parkland and rides back. Now, this is a unique ride in that the first 30 miles of the ride are very chill, very relaxed. It's an opportunity for us to just come together and we have kind of like a kumbaya moment where we ride down as a big peloton. We have police escort for part of the ride. We get to a little bit of a shopping plaza and then we get ready to ride back. And in the ride back is where the sauce is made. The last 30 miles, I don't know how to put it, but there is no kumba and there's no ya. There's just a bunch of cyclists buzzing down the road, doing everything they can do to get back home in time safely <laughs> to enjoy some family time. But hey, it's a great event. I love it. This was actually my first year participating in it. And one of the things that I like about the Harvest Foundation is that they ask every cyclist uh, who's participating to do a minimum donation of $20. About, if I had to do it in a formal count, I'd say there are probably about 200, 250 to 300 cyclists. I'm always bad at judging that kind of stuff. So it's a good opportunity for the South Florida cycling community to give back to those who are experiencing a little bit of a tough time this season. So as we get ready to ride down from Weston to Parkland, as I mentioned, about 30 miles, the idea is to kind of keep everybody together. The ride was paced. We had a rolling pace of between 21 and 22. I'm sure with speed creep, we got into about 23, maybe 24 miles an hour a few places. And uh, as, a tip, as, typical, as it is typical with any mass start event, you're gonna have people of varying levels. Some people are very comfortable in a Peloton. Some people are not. So consequently, on parts of the ride, you're going to see where we're closing gaps and things like that. And people move up, slide back. People have conversations. Some people are distracted, not really paying attention and gaps swell. But again, there's no urgency because, you know, everybody's in a very festive, very kind of uh, just enjoying the holiday, just enjoying being out. It was a beautiful day for South Florida, very low humidity, um, awesome weather and just generally a really good vibe. Now, one of the really enjoyable things for me about this ride was that I was riding on a recent build, my Bianchi Megaset, a recent rebuild, I should say, of a steel frame with a carbon fork, camping record, 10 speed component tree, and the unique thing about this bike, or I should say the novel, th novel uh, thing about this bike is it has down tube shifters. I had a lot of really good conversations comments uh, by people who really appreciated the build. I had a great conversation with a guy who was riding a, a titanium light speed. We rode and spoke for a while about, you know, I really appreciated those bikes. He appreciated mine. So again, nothing spectacular, complete party pace, nice and safe. We had police escort for a good part of the ride. We're just taking our time riding down to Weston and enjoying ourselves.
Jackson? Now this last little stretch of road right here, this is the last part of the first 30 miles where we're getting ready to go into the rest stop and people will have an opportunity to re replenish and we take pictures uh, before we get ready to launch to head back and uh, this was the only part where the speed kind of uh, went up a little bit but again uh, it got stretched out, people were riding at their own pace, no harm, no foul. Uh, still in keeping in line with the spirit of the ride. So we pull into the rest stop, have an opportunity to see some friends, take some pictures and replenish a little bit. And just like that, before you know it, it's time to head back. Now it's like a grenade going off all of a sudden because the group takes off. They really don't say, um, well, let me say it this way. There's no kind of warm up or transition into what's getting ready to take place next. Uh, the group just takes off and I was caught way in the back. Initially, I decided, you know, I'm going to hang with them for a little bit, but eventually I'm going to just back out. I'm not going to kill myself on this ride. I had a long day planned with the family for Thanksgiving uh, day dinner, but I got to tell you, I was shocked by <laughs> the urgency in which they took off. So here I am riding my steel steed, shifting my vintage down tube shifters, trying to have as good a time as I possibly can all the while thinking you know at some point I'm gonna have to back out of this a little bit so eventually what I did was I kind of uh, uh, let it go uh, I was not feeling this pace it was a little bit higher than what I wanted to do on this day and I just found a nice chill group that I could pace myself back in with and I just took my time I just rode it in nice and easy uh, we were averaging in my group between 23 and 25 and you'll see in a few minutes when I show you the other video exactly the type of speed that the front group was doing but all in all for me this was a nice opportunity for me to take this bike out shake it down and just have a good time um, without putting too much stress on myself. So here we go. This is Vin this is footage of the fast group. Uh, special shout out goes out to my friend Harrison. I'm actually going to post a link to this entire video so that you can see what the entire ride was like. I just um, trimmed it a little bit just to give you an idea of what the flavor was like. And like I said, these guys were going at this thing like uh, there was money <laughs> to be won at the end. But no, I mean. I understand the competitive nature of cycling and guys really trying to push real hard bragging rights and things like that but there were a couple off-road excursions some cycle crossing I heard there was even an altercation between a couple cyclists and a duck I don't know that's what I heard uh, but uh, ultimately Harrison backs it down but you can see how intense this footage is and after I had an opportunity to see this I was really happy that I made the decision that I did which was just to take my time, chill out, and bring it home nice and easy. <laughs> 